Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome to part two. And today I want to share with you guys my thought process on how I set up my tone. So if you take a quick look at uh, my pedal board here, I just want to clarify that this is not my main pedal board. But the point I want to try to make is that you guys don't need more pedals or more expensive pedals to have great tone. So real quickly, my single chain is going to go into the double barrel first and then into the Dunlop. And then it's going to go into the DD7 by Boss as a delay pedal and then the Astronomer by Matthew FX. So I think this pedal board is pretty budget friendly. Um, on Reverb.com, the double barrel version one is $200 and that's the one I'm using right now. So it's like $100 per overdrive. The volume pedal right now, I saw it for 90 bucks. And then the DD7, I also saw it for $90. And this one's really cool because it has a built-in tap tempo, which I think is really necessary for delay pedals. And then the Astronomer, uh, this is also the first version and I saw it on Reaver for 90 bucks as well. So the first thing I think about is my amp. And I'm actually using my HX Stomp, which is an amp modeler. But if you don't know what that means, you don't have to worry about it. Basically, whatever amp you have, preferably a tube amp, I set the drive knob at a sweet spot where if I pick pretty softly, then I have a cleaner tone. But if I were to pick harder, I have a more overdriven tone. So the second thing I think about is my reverb pedal. Now, whatever reverb pedal I'm using, I like to make it pretty darn washy and just enough so that it's not swallowing everything. Now, if you guys don't know the Astronomer, I encourage you guys to check it out. It's pretty neat because you can have two different reverbs on one pedal. But basically, I have it pretty washy. The time is pretty much all the way up. But this is what the reverb sounds like. So first with it off, and then with it on. So I keep it just like that pretty much the whole time. The third thing I think about is my delay. And my delay is pretty simple. Um, I make it so that it's the, the feedback is pretty high, but the level isn't high enough where you can really hear it while somebody is like playing normally. But if I were to like staccato it, you'll definitely hear it. But in a normal state, you wouldn't really hear the delays. So this is what the delay sounds like. So with it off, and then with it on. And it's, so it's really subtle and I really like it that way because it's just kind of adding to the atmosphere, but the delay sound isn't really interfering with my playing. And that's the way I like to set it up. The fourth thing I think about is finally my overdrives. Basically with each overdrive, I just stack it so that the next overdrive that's a higher gain stage is just a little bit more gain and a little bit more volume. So on top of the amp, I want a little bit more. So this is usually for like the chorus or the bridge sections. So this is what my overdrives sound like. So in essence, on stage, I usually keep my reverb, my delays the same the entire time. Unless there's a song that re uh, requires some really specific settings, I rarely change my delay or my reverb sounds. And the only thing I'm really tap dancing through on stage is my different gain stages. Uh, typically, if you count my amp as the first stage, I only use like the second stage typically. And for the third stage overdrive, I usually use that more as a boost. If I have a solo or anything, I just need to cut out the mix a little bit more. I would control the volume and like the gain knob pretty much. And I like to keep things simple that way and it's worked pretty well for me so far. 
All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys thought this was helpful, please like the video and subscribe because that's going to help me a ton. If you guys have any suggestions or something that you guys want me to go over, please leave it in the comments and I'll get to them. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.